hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel travel free in today's video i'm going to explain you about attitudes nature and characteristics of attitudes along with the dimensions of attitudes as well okay in the subject of organization behavior so if you're having your exam schedule nearby just let me know the date of your exam in the comment section so that i can make um, videos by your exam date and according to your uh, college syllabus as well so let's get into the video now it is a statement attitude means it is a statement or impression that could be either favorable or unfavorable about a person or an object or a thing or an event whatever it is about a thing it can be a person it can be an object it can be an event or it can be uh, any non living thing living thing anything you are forming an impression on that you are forming an opinion you are giving a statement about that that could be favorable or that could be unfavorable like you may like it or you may not like it whatever it is is called as attitude okay basically we have two types of attitude positive attitude and negative attitude right suppose for example uh, you say i like chocolate that means you are expressing your positive attitude towards chocolate you are like it right you are liking it suppose uh, let us say you hate a uh, bitter gut then it is a negative attitude you are having a negative opinion about bitter gut whereas about chocolate you are having a positive opinion okay it reflects how we feel about something about something what we are feeling we are liking it or we are hating it or we want it or we don't want it what is our feeling about that particular thing okay so this is attitude it is a statement or an opinion or an impression or a feeling whatever it is that you form on a particular thing and that opinion could be a positive one or a negative one okay so now let's get into the nature of attitude you can also say nature or characteristics as well first one is attitude is learnt from social interactions and experiences attitude predefined like by birth you will not have attitude okay see attitude this attitude is different the attitude which we show towards others is different like we say he is having lot of attitude you know that is different this is different attitude is nothing but behavior so it is learnt from social interactions and experiences for example here i said i like chocolate how did i say that i like chocolate by birth itself did i say i like chocolate no right after uh, you know after eating chocolate for uh, two three times i found it tasty so i like it and if i say i hate bitter gourd then by birth itself i don't say i i hate bitter gourd right after eating for some time after uh, for a few two to uh, three times i feel that the taste of bitter gourd is a bit bitter so i don't, cannot eat that so i don't like the taste okay so you are not forming an impression just like that you are learning it from the social interactions and experiences for example social interactions means uh, for example uh, you have a person any your friend or any relative or any cousin or whoever it is some some person is there you like that person or you don't like that person how do you form that opinion once you interact with them once you talk with them the way they are talking to you the way they are responding back to you based on all these things you will decide whether you like that person or not right so yeah let's get into the other point we have let's not waste more time on this point itself okay next is attitude has an object has an object in the sense you are forming attitude on something right it can be on a person or it can be on a place or an event or a thing or uh, anything so it has an object suppose you are saying i like i like has no meaning i like chocolate has a meaning here chocolate is the object i hate doesn't have any meaning i hate you have to say what you hate right that is the object next attitude influences the behavior obviously how you behave and attitude is a stable thing it is not like perception stable thing is it is always constant what is perception perception keep on keep, it keeps on changing right based on the situation or based on the person or based on the uh, your mind based on your uh, state of mind at that point of time or depending on different different things the perception will keep on changing but attitude is not like that attitude is a stable thing okay of course it changes but not as perception changes perception changes very rapidly it changes very quickly got it but whereas this attitude does not change that quickly 
got it now let us see about the components or dimensions of attitude see we actually have three dimensions okay first is cognitive second is affective and third is behavioral so let us see what is cognitive component the component of attitude which involves belief or knowledge or fact or idea or information whatever it is towards people things etc simple guys the attitude which is being developed due to the facts due to the beliefs suppose for example uh, your friend said that that guy sitting in the first bench i don't like him i don't like his behavior i don't want to speak with him suppose your friend said that to you then you will always you'll already have that belief in your mind that your friend doesn't like that person you will already have a negative attitude towards that person before going and speaking to them itself so you will be f um like you will be forming an opinion or you will be uh, forming a statement or an impression about that person based on the belief or based on the knowledge or based on the fact that your friend has given you okay so it is developed due to beliefs facts knowledge idea information whatever it is the statement the meaning of this statement is that okay the attitude which you are developing towards other person because of these things towards not only a pe a person it can be a thing or whatever it is okay next is the affective component affective component is nothing but the component of attitude which involves emotions or feelings towards people things etc so here we took beliefs knowledge facts idea information etc right but instead of that we are developing an attitude because of the emotions and feelings we have towards the other people towards the other person or towards the other thing or whatever so feelings means it can be angry it can be sad it can be happy it can be uh, you know yeah love kind whatever li like different different kinds of feelings can be there okay based on a feeling or an emotion you are forming a opinion next comes the behavioral component in behavioral component the component of attitude which involves actions towards so that is the action performed by that person so how that person is um doing how that person is speaking how that person is the actions because of those actions whatever attitude is developed that will come under this behavioral component okay so this is all about this video in this video we learned what is attitude nature and dimensions of attitude okay i hope this video is clear to you let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then if you still having any doubts let me know in the comment section thanks for watching the video till the end